Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called Linear Equations in One Variable. The given question is solve 6x plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to x minus 3 divided by 6. So guys let us see how we can solve this type of equations. Here question has given us this equation. Here question has given us this equation 6x plus 1 6x plus 1 divided by 3 divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to is equal to x minus 3 x minus 3 divided by 6. Question has given us this equation and question is just asking us to solve. Question is just asking us to solve this given equation. So guys let us see how we can easily solve this type of equations. Now what question has given us? Question has given us 6x plus 1. 6x x plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to x minus 3 divided by 6. Now guys let us focus on this 6. Let us first focus on this 6 and let us try to remove this 6 from the denominator. So our first objective is to remove this 6 from the denominator. So let us do this thing first. Now in order to remove this 6 from the denominator I need to multiply 6 I need to multiply 6. If I multiply 6 here, then only I can remove this denominator. So let us do that thing. So I can write or 6 into or I can write or I can write. Let us put it in this way. 6x plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 plus 1 into 6 is equal to x minus 3 divided by 6 into 6. So guys, what I am doing here, I am multiplying, multiplying, multiplying 6 to both sides, multiplying 6 to both sides. What I am doing here, I am just multiplying 6 to both sides. Now, now, let us see what result we are getting after multiplying, just multiplying 6 to both sides. And as I told you, why I am multiplying? I am multiplying 6 to both sides so that I can eliminate this 6 from the denominator. In order to eliminate this 6 from the denominator, I have multiplied 6 here to the right side of the equation. If I am multiplying something to the right side of the equation, I should also multiply the same thing to the left side of the equation. Now, let us see what we are getting. So, so you could see that this into 6. So, you could see that let us now put it in this way. Let us let us multiply this 6 first with this equation in the bracket. So this equation in the bracket will now be like this. 6x plus 1 into 6 plus 1 into 6 is equal to this 6, this 6 cancels out is equal to x minus 3. Or I can write. What I can write? Or I can write. Let us solve the left hand side of the equation first to some extent. Let us solve the left hand side of the equation to some extent and then we will move again to solve both the sides. So let's see here 3 2 the 6. So what I am getting? I am getting 6x plus 1 into 2 plus 6 1 just 6. This one is 6 1 just 6 is equal to x minus 3. Or I can write what I can write or I can write 12x plus 2 plus 6 is equal to x minus 3 or I can write 12x plus 8 is equal to x minus 3 or I can write or I can write 12x is equal to x minus 3 minus 8 that means just moving this 8 to the right side transposing guys here what I am doing I am transposing I am transposing plus 8 from left hand side to right hand side. Hope guys you are understanding. Hope guys I am very clear till here. What I did here? I just transferred, transferred or moved this plus 8 from the left hand side to the right hand side of the equation. So what I got? We got, we got 12x is equal to x minus 3 minus 8. Or I can write, what I can write? Or I can write. 12x minus x is equal to minus 3 minus 8. So what I am doing here? I am transposing. I am transposing 
plus x from right hand side to left hand side and guys we very well know that if we move any number or anything from one side of the equation to the other side its sign changes a positive number becomes negative and a negative number becomes positive when it moves or i can write 12x minus x is 11x is equal to minus 11 so what we got we got 11x is equal to minus 11 or i can write 11x divided by 11 is equal to minus 11 divided by 11. What I am doing here? I am dividing, dividing both sides, dividing both sides by 11. I am dividing both sides by 11. Why I am dividing both sides by 11? I want to eliminate this 11 from x. If I can eliminate this 11 from x, then only I can find out the value of x. In order to eliminate the 11 from x, I need to divide this 11 with 11 so that I can eliminate it. If I am dividing something to the left side of the equation, I should divide the same thing to the right side of the equation. So for that reason, I have divided both sides of the equation by 11. Now let's see what we are getting now. Now after dividing with 11, we will get after dividing with 11 we will get we will get x is equal to minus 1 how this 11 this 11 cancels out this 11 this 11 cancels out and we got the value of x is minus 1 so guys this is our answer our answer is x is equal to 1 question asked us to solve the given equation and we found out the value of x is 1 now let us do a check whether our answer is correct or not let us do a check and find out whether our answer is correct or not. In order to do the check, let us rewrite the original equation that the question has given us. Let us rewrite the original equation that the question has given us. The original equation is 6x plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to x minus 3 divided by 6. Now, let us first of all check the left hand side of the equation. So left hand side of the equation is 6x plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 or that is equal to I can write 6 into the value of x is minus 1 6 into minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 or that is equal to 6 into minus 1 is minus 6 minus 6 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 or that is equal to minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5 divided by 3 plus 1. So what we are getting here? We are getting minus 5 divided by 3 plus 1 or we can write what we can write or we can write or we can write or minus 5 divided by 3 plus 1 means 1 divided by 1 is equal to is equal to minus 5 by 3 plus let us make this one denominator to be 3 we need to convert this denominator to be 3 so that we can uh, easily solve this equation so how we will convert let's see let us multiply 3 to the numerator as well as to the denominator let us multiply 3 to the numerator as well as the denominator so that we can get the denominator here instead of 1 we can get the denominator as 3 so now after multiplying 3 to the numerator as well as to the denominator, let's see what we are getting. Plus 3 divided by 3 or that is equal to minus 5 plus 3 divided by 3 or that is equal to minus 2 divided by 3. So what we got? We got left hand side is equal to minus 2 divided by 3. This is what we got. Now let us let us solve let us solve the right side of the equation so guys let me again tell you like what we did we initially started with the left side of the equation which is 6x plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 is equal to 6 into in, is equal to 6 into minus 1 this minus 1 i replace the value of x with minus 1 the one that we got here from this step so after replacing the value of x with minus 1 i just solved the equation and i got the answer as L left hand side is equal to minus 2 upon 3 now let us solve the right hand side of the equation. Now let us solve the right hand side of the equation and let's check what exactly we are getting. The right hand side of the equation is x minus 3 divided by 6 that is equal to the value of x is minus 1. 
So I can write minus 1 minus 3 divided by 6. That is equal to minus 4 divided by minus 4 divided by 6. Or that is equal to 2 to the 4, 2, 3 the 6. How, what? 2 to the 4, 2, 3 the 6. So that is equal to minus 2, minus 2 upon 3. So what we got for the right hand side of the equation? We got right hand side of the equation is right hand side is equal to minus 2 upon 3. Now guys, you could see that, you could see that we got the left hand side of the equation is minus 2 upon 3. We got the left hand side of the equation is minus 2 upon 3 and right hand side of the equation also minus 2 upon 3. So therefore, therefore, we can write left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence verified, hence verified. What we have verified that the value of x that we got minus 1 is correct. Hope guys you understood this. This is very simple and very straightforward. Just we need to solve the given equation and we, if required we can verify our answer. But guys still if you have any questions or doubts please reach out to me in the comment section of this video. Definitely I will get back to you once I see your comments. Guys if you really like my videos please subscribe and let your friends know. If you really like my videos I would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know. This will motivate me to create similar videos in the future. Thank you. Bye.